Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to evaluate for theta, where theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi, or 0 and 360. We're going to deal with just the radians. And when I'm given secant of theta equals negative 2. So the first thing, whenever I see secant, I always think, what can I, how can I rewrite secant? And I can rewrite secant as 1 over cosine. And what that means is those are going to be reciprocal properties of each other. But I don't want to write it as 1 over cosine. I want to figure out what is the cosine of theta. And therefore, understanding that, I know that that's going to be the reciprocal of negative 2 over 1, which would be a negative 1 half. Now, you could easily do this problem the same exact way. But it's easier when looking at cosine, because when cosine equals negative 1, we can find that point on the unit circle. It's a lot easier to find that than trying to have to think about what it would be if we just had secant. So what I'm going to do is I drew up the kind of the unit circle, and I gave you the first quadrant. Because you're really going to need to make sure you either have the unit circle with you as you're doing these problems, or you have it up here in your head um, to be able to evaluate for the angle. So I want to find the angle when cosine equals negative 1 half between 0 and 2 pi. So what I did is I only drew up angles between 0 and pi halves. And what I noticed is cosine is equal to 1 half at my angle pi thirds. Now, that's close to what I'm looking for, but I need my angle when it's going to be negative. So what I need to determine is I need to look at the reflections of this angle in these two other quadrants. So now I just need to determine what are going to be these two angles. So the best way that I like to understand this is think about these. Like I said, if these are in thirds, so if this is 1 third, my next angle will be 2 thirds, then 3 thirds, and then 4 thirds. So at this point, at when theta equals 2 thirds, I'll have a point which is going to be the reflection over the y-axis. So it would be negative 1 half comma square root of 3 divided by 2. Therefore, my cosine value will equal negative 1 half. And then if I reflect that over the x-axis, now both of my x and y's will be negative. So my other point is so if I have pi halves, 3 pi halves, oh, I'm sorry, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, my next angle would be 4 pi over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two angles when cosine of theta equals negative 1 half. Thanks.